One gunshot, pools of blood, and a car crash. It's the aftermath of a bizarre early morning shooting in Green Valley that left one man dead. Marcelino Benito explains what happened in tonight's Not On Your Side Crime Watch. Blood stains. It's not what Green Valley residents are used to seeing on their sidewalks, but it's what's left behind after a domestic dispute turned deadly. It's always quiet, uh, peaceful, nothing. I mean, nothing ever happens here. Until last night, Alex Charlin lives next door to Christina Dunkel and her boyfriend, Anthony Peters. What do you know about them? Pretty no normal couple. What about him? Yeah, they, uh, they moved in shortly after I did, uh, first of the year. And they're always quiet, um, pretty nice. You know, I, we had several conversations, talk, you know, talk a fair amount, and they're always, uh, you know, just just normal people. So I didn't had no no negative interaction with them at all. But last night, a violent struggle between the couple started inside this house. Deputies say Peters tried to choke her. The commotion quickly spilled into the street. The uh, female was able to escape from the location and run over to a neighbor's uh, place. The, the boyfriend, the aggressor, uh, went after her, forced his way inside, physically forced her back outside of the house. The girlfriend is able to run away from the, from the scene, and the next thing she knows, she hears gunfire. Her neighbor, Alexander George Cleveland, shot Peters in what neighbors believe was self-defense. Definitely surprised to hear that, that he was involved at all, but um, apparently sounds like it, it was good that he was here. Despite the gunshot wound, deputies say Peters managed to drive off, but not before leaving a trail of blood behind. He wouldn't make it very far. Peters' car veered off the road and into the embankment. We find him about a quarter mile down from here on La Cañada. Blood lines the sidewalk where this all ended. Paramedics say they tried to render first aid and keep Peters alive. He died at the scene. Detectives tell me this matter is still under investigation. We're reporting from Green Valley tonight. I'm Marcelino Benito, Kega 9 on your side. And we did look into Anthony Wayne Peters' criminal history. According to the Arizona Department of Corrections, Peters served three months in 2010 for charges of disorderly conduct and domestic violence.